Hello world. Today we're going to talk about something called consensus mechanism. What is that consensus mechanism? In my previous website, we talked about what is a key, private key, transaction, hash, block, blockchain, spending. But we did not talk about transaction, how this transaction have been approved. To do that, we approve transaction through something called a uh, consensus mechanism. So today we're going to talk about how the blockchain exactly does a proven transaction. So in general, we have a four steps. The first step is the transaction. Uh, Josephine sent money to Salimi, for example. Uh, so then what happened? Then uh, consensus mechanism, which is we're going to talk about it. How they view the transaction, verify the transaction, make sure Josephine has enough funds. Salimi received the, the funds. The third step would be broadcast. We report to all the people in the, in the blockchain. When I say people, I mean nodes. In the blockchain, we call nodes, not people. All the nodes in the blockchain, we broadcast. That's a new transaction and a new block. And then there's a consensus that, okay, we, everybody agree on it, and then they move on to the next uh, transaction or a new block. So that's what we're going to do. It's a four steps. Uh, and uh, we have... Consensus the fourth, broadcast the third, consensus mechanism the second, transaction is number one. So what we're gonna talk about how the how the consensus mechanism happen. There are different consensus mechanism, uh, and then uh, one is a proof of work, which is the most popular. Uh, Bitcoin is the one doing that. Proof of stake is another popular one by Ethereum. Ethereum in the beginning was a proof of work. They changed to a proof of stake. I will talk about that. There is a delicate proof of stake and the proof of authority. But also there are others, uh, consensus mechanism. I will talk about them, but we're not going to go have a demonstration. We're going to start with a proof of work. Pops in money to Salim. That's a transaction. What then happened? What happened is the miners, what called the people who are doing that, start compute which which when I get, get the transaction properly and verify it. After the, this miner win, next, what's going to happen is the consensus achieved and a, a new block emerged. That's the process of consensus mechanism and Bitcoin. The problem with this mechanism is everybody tried to get that. So there's a lot of energy wasted. Only this guy uh, will get the block. So this is the miner, we call that. You can restart the game. So I, I want you to go to restart with Bob sending money to Salimi. And then this is the winner who will do the transaction next. This person, this node will go and publish the block. You can do it again. Next, a blocker came and then a new block emerged and things. You see, for example, this time take more time to uh, somebody to find the transaction. The second one is a proof of stake. Bob sent money to Salimi again. So then how are we gonna do it next? Well, a proof of stake. So you have a people with a 24% of Ethereum, for example, Ethereum. There are a group of people, a block have a 24% of the Ethereum. Suppose we have hundred Ether in the market. This block has a 24 ETH. Uh, this block has a 14, this one is 15. So everybody has a, a fraction of the Ethereum. So we're gonna choose one of those to verify the transaction. So now we didn't need to consume energy. We're gonna tell this block will do it. But how are we gonna do it? We're gonna say, okay, we're gonna do random because you have a 24% of the ether. So your chances to get uh, verify the transaction is a 24%. But this one, 5%, this one, 5, 1%. Everybody has a chance. So we're gonna run the, the transaction. Oops, this one will get it. This, pers this node had a 14% of the Ethereum. This transaction will be done, verified by this person. Okay, we're gonna go with this. Next, the consensus achieve, verify the transaction, a new block emerged by this person. So we call that proof of stake because everybody has a stake here and we select one of those based on your stake. The larger the stake, the more likely you're gonna do transaction. If you have a million transaction, 24% of the million will be done by those because a lot of large number, 14% by this guy. And you can play the game again. Uh, create a transaction. Again, Bob sent money to Salimi. You do here, restart. Bob sent money to Salimi, next. Um, uh, the uh, Choose somebody to do it. A block, this time this guy got it. 
it's a random. And then verify the transaction, publish the block. The third model called delegated proof of stake. Delegated proof of stake is every time we choose one in the, in the proof of stake here, every time we choose one random. This time is different. We're gonna say, we're gonna select five people to do the next five transactions. For example, five or four. You are the programmer. You can decide how many uh, delegated uh, authority you're gonna give. In this case, you see select, we got the five here. We're gonna do that. Then next, the first transaction going to first delegate, the second transaction to the second, third transaction to the third delegate, fourth transaction to the fourth delegate, fifth transaction to the fifth delegate, Five transactions already gone to their delegates, verified, and boom, a new blockchain has been emerged. I like it. There is one even better. It's called a proof authority. Proof authority is we say, okay, these five delegates will do the transaction, and that's it. We didn't need to choose them. They're already chosen. It's simple. And then the first transaction going to delegate one, second to two, third to three, fourth to this, fifth to the fifth delegate. That is transaction number six, again, to number one, transaction number seven to number two. This is the most efficient one. This is what I like, the proof of authority. But this one is also good because you will have a chance to be in a game here, even if you have a little. But here, it's less, in, in, in point of view of less consumption, less uh, waste of time. This is one of the cheapest one, the more direct one to do it. Okay, you do those and then validate the transaction. Boom, 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 boom. We get all the blocks are emerge and then we go to the consensus. There are others consensus mechanism a lot. There are over 20, I guess, but the, uh, the next most important two are a pr a proof of uh, Byzantine fault tolerance and a proof of burn. There are others, a lot of other uh, um, consensus mechanism. So what's your job is to go to this website and go to the proof of work try to play the game here bob send money to salimi next the machines are choosing the person uh they're gonna the gpu basically these are all of these are nodes try to first node to find the transaction and then once you find the first node this in this case this denounce who got it or she got it next that nonce will create the new block and that's it. You go to the second one, proof of stake, Bob send money to Salimi. Next, we're gonna create the the person. Okay, this and this time, this one got it. Next, this person will take the block and then go to the next one and next one, just do the, the game of uh, transaction and how it works. I hope you enjoyed the video. All, you, all what you have to do is simple. Go to this website and go through proof of work, proof of stake, delegated proof of stake, proof of authority, record your video with a good quality and share it in, in Canvas. Thank you so much. I hope you learned a lot about what is that a consensus mechanism. So when we talked about transaction, beyond the transaction, we were very simple here. But beyond this, there are steps how to do it. And here is a website that explained that. Thank you so much.